Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to another video. My name is Savannah if any of you are new here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post every Thursday and Sunday. So I just woke up. I am having my morning tea. My favorite tea right now is this Tezo English breakfast tea with caffeine in it and it's so good. But yeah, I just wanted to film part of my day for you guys. I have a bunch of updates and like room updates life updates all the good stuff i have school right now it's around 10 o'clock and i have a online like virtual meeting on zoom with my group members for a project so i'm gonna get on that in a few minutes and just discuss what we're gonna do for our group project and I have some other score to do real quick this morning and then later this afternoon I just wanted to show you guys my room updates I decorated and like rearranged a bunch of stuff got a bunch of new decorations yeah just film my day for you guys do a little quarantine day in my life sorry I keep touching my hair I feel like I do that a lot it's just always like all over the place I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this call right now and then I will talk to you guys after. Okay, I just finished my work and I'm doing some online shopping now. I have a serious obsession. I've been doing so much online shopping lately since like work quarantine and stuff. I just... I don't know, I'm just obsessed with shopping. And I've gotten like a ton of new clothes. I'm actually planning on doing a huge like summer slash spring um, clothing haul for you guys. But I'm trying to wait for everything to come in. Um, it's kind of been delayed because like the delivery times and stuff for stores are just like all delayed and messed up because of Corona. I've been doing a lot of my shopping on Amazon lately for just like so much random stuff that I really don't need but i'm still buying um because i'm bored and want to entertain myself so yeah that's where i'm at right now just doing some online shopping okay i want to show you guys some little room updates so if you guys have watched my previous videos you would know that my bed was originally over here like on this wall coming out and the dresser was on this wall so i swapped these two and I really like it. I also added these lamps to my bureau and some pictures right here. I have my mom and I and then some of me and my friends in South Africa. And then I added this jewelry box to my bureau. I've had this for like a really long time, but I kind of organized all my jewelry and yeah, placed that there. And then I added this little baskets to the side. I don't really know what I want to put in it. Maybe like blankets and stuff once I get some blankets and can go to like a store to do that. I also had when this was over here, I had those like alpaca pictures, but I took those down and put them in the basement to store them. That's what you see like on the wall, the nails. I need to get those out and like patch the holes or do whatever. <laughs> Um, I don't really know what to do with like this wall space. It kind of is like just looks a little odd because the bed like normally would look better if it was in like the center of the wall. But since like the doors right there on the bureau, you kind of like can't center it. So I had to push it to the side. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like right now. I like it. It's a lot different than before. Just a different setup. The same rug. And then this is my favorite part of my room that I added. If you guys saw in other videos, this was like just empty. There was never anything here. So I added this little sitting area. I have this table that my mom painted like a while back. We had it in our old house, but we weren't really using it here. So I kind of just added that there. I thought it was pretty cool. It's like three tables from big to small and like they go inside each other. Just a little decorative piece and then some stuff on the table and then I have this little chair to like read. I have my book right there or do homework or whatever with like a blanket. I thought that looked really pretty together and then I have my like picture um, ladder thing right there leaning against the wall. And then I put up this little mirror that I had before. 
And then this, I just, these were originally on my bureau, but I took these and placed them there. And then I have this for my sunglasses and like blue light glasses. So I have all those in there. And yeah, that was really all I changed in my room was just this. And then this and this mirror have always been in this area. And so I've been using this for like my makeup. Um, I want to eventually get like a shelving unit type thing, something better and prettier than this. Um, but it's just a basket. And I have all of my like face products I have up here. Except for this. This is my CarMax lipstick. So I have all of my face products up here and makeup brushes. And then the second one, I put all of my like eye products, eyeshadow, um, mascara, stuff like that. And my lip glosses and like lipsticks and stuff. And then this one, I just have a makeup bag and then my flat iron. Um, but yeah, I kind of just organized that before I had like both my lip, eyes, face, everything pretty much in this top. And it was just like so unorganized and so much stuff. And I was always like digging through it when I was doing my makeup. So I organized that. Okay, and then I organized this drawer. Okay, so these are all the products that I use. Not on like a daily, but I just didn't want to like throw them out yet. And then I have like medicine right here. Um, hairbrush and then I have all of my like camera stuff here. My camera is usually sitting right here So that's that drawer before it was like all my face products and like stuff that I use every single day And then this is kind of looking chaotic right now, but I have like all my chargers computer phone And then some other like storage stuff. These are just empty sunglass cases for when I go on like vacation I can have that um yeah, just some other little stuff, Advil, sunscreen, some probiotics that I don't take on a daily. And then I have a lighter for my candles right there. I just put that in there. And then everything that I used to have in this store, I actually moved to. So I've had this medicine cabinet for like a while now. I just never really used it and I thought... I should probably use it because it's a good space and this is like a perfect area. I wash my face, brush my teeth in the morning and at night and then just like have all my products here. So this is what it looks like. I have, these are like the products that I use every single day. So I have my face products, face roller, um, hair leave-in conditioner, my deodorant, my favorite perfume at the moment, some lip balm, and then this to wash my face to scrub it. And then up here, I just have face masks that I like switch off and on from using. Eye masks, lip masks, um, some hand cream, and then I have nail clippers and my other face roller. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm really digging this whole medicine cabinet. I feel like it's just a great area for all of my products. I feel like I'm forgetting to mention something. What else? Um, oh, this. I just recently got this new makeup mirror from Amazon. I'm super obsessed with it. So it has a little on button and then it changes to three different colors. So this is like kind of like a yellowy color. It has the lights going all around the mirror. Or there's mm, this one, which is like more of a natural. And then this, that's kind of like a bluish natural color. Okay, and I just wanted to sit down and have a little chat session with you all. I really just wanted to talk about my skin. Um, so growing up, I always had like acne like not severe acne like i wouldn't i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god i had horrible like cystic acne like all that stuff but it was definitely like there and noticeable it was kind of more like mild and i don't know just like bothered me and it was something that i was definitely insecure about and it took me a while to like get comfortable in my own skin but lately i have been like loving my skin my skin has cleared up so much i literally don't wear makeup anymore i if i do i just put on like a little concealer and some blush right now i don't have any makeup on i wanted to show you guys my like bare skin and i'm just feeling so good about myself and about my skin lately and just like a lot more confident and i think that's really 
comes from drinking a lot of water. When I was younger, I like didn't like water. I don't know why, I just like wouldn't drink it. I wanna say within the last like year, I've been drinking a ton of water and just trying to like stay very hydrated and I definitely noticed a difference in my skin and especially my hair too. I wanted to talk about my hair because it has gotten so long. It's a little dead at the end, I know. Don't comment on it. I need to get a haircut, just can't right now because we're quarantined. But my hair has like, if you knew when I was younger, my hair would never grow. And now it's just like so long and I just love it. Like I just feel so much better myself. I feel healthier and I really truly think that it's because of drinking so much water. I just feel like it helps all around and just like felt like I needed to do that because I wasn't like confident in my skin. But I wanted to put this message out there to anyone that is listening. I don't know if anyone's listening to me right now, but if you are having problems with your skin, try drinking like tons of water throughout the day. Especially we're quarantined, like what else are we doing? I promise you it helps. It helped me and I feel so much better and my skin is like glowing. I just like, I can't get over it. I think also another thing that has helped my skin is not putting makeup on every day since we're all in the house and like can't go anywhere as it is. I try not to wear like any makeup at all, not even like concealer or anything. Really just give my skin a chance to air out and like breathe and take a break and I've been seeing such a difference. Also another thing, oh my gosh I just keep thinking of more things that I think are helping my skin. Um, I used to have a makeup mirror that was like, you guys have seen it before, but it was on one side, it was like a regular mirror and then you flipped it around. And on the other side, it was like a magnifying mirror. And I used to always like, it was just such a habit. I would just flip around to the magnifying mirror, look at my skin and like my pores and just be so like grossed out and I would pick at my skin and pick and pick and pick until my face was like bright red like a tomato like it was so bad and I had like scars everywhere and I would pick up my like blemishes and just like rip my skin open it was just like horrible and it was such a habit for me because I felt like I had to do that I felt like I had to like pick at it in order for it to get better but I got rid of that mirror just like not because of that reason i just like wanted to get this new mirror i feel like it has helped me so much not having a magnifying mirror to like not be tempted to pick up my skin and all that stuff i used to do it like i want to say like three days a week i would sit down and literally just pick at every single pore on my face and it was so bad and it would just like made my acne worse if you're like sitting at home picking at your skin right now thinking that it's gonna help, it's probably not gonna help. Obviously, like I said before, I just like really struggled with like trying to get clear skin and I never knew what was like the right thing to do. But yeah, that's my little advice for you guys. I'm gonna stop chit-chatting. I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. I'm literally dripping sweat. I was just making so many TikToks. But I don't really have anything else to do today so i'm just gonna watch some netflix for a little bit but i wanted to share with you guys my favorite shows that i've been watching lately on hulu i've been watching desperate housewives this is actually my third time watching it and there's how many seasons like seven or eight i want to say and it's just so good it's like the original desperate housewives it's kind of like older it was filmed like a long time ago but it's really good if you guys haven't seen it it's on hulu go check it out and on netflix i just watched outer banks and that was so good i 10 out of 10 recommend if you guys haven't watched that show go watch it also um tiger king that's a pretty good netflix documentary that's out right now and pretty popular but yeah those are my favorite yeah so i'm gonna sit here and watch some tv but yeah i'm gonna end this video off here i hope you guys enjoyed my little updates for you all and make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video as always also comment down below if you're still watching right now let's see comment down below one of your favorite shows that you've watched while in quarantine yeah so let's see that in the comments and i will see you all in my next video